Hello there and welcome back in this lecture. Now, in this particular lecture, what we're going to be doing is actually going to create the coloring book. Now, we're going to use Canva for that. So what I want you to do, go to canva.com. That's the first step. And basically on Canva here, I'd like you to click on create a design. So we're going to create, what we're going to create now is the interior of the book. So the book interior, if you go, for instance, to an Amazon book. So if you take this one, for example, this is an, uh, a coloring book that I found on Amazon. And it's basically a paperback. I'm not sure if there is a uh, hardcover version. Uh, no, I don't think so. But actually here, they're not actually, they're not showing us the inside of the, of the book. But this is what the paperback is. The, the paperback book is basically inside of it. There are all the pages that we have designed. And there are multiple ways as to how you can design the paperback book. You can actually use BookBalt. There's a BookBalt tool. Uh, I prefer Canva because it is for free. And uh, it actually is the best, right? So what I'm going to do here, I want you to click on custom size. So normally, normally, the normal thing that you would find out is for these types of books, if you scroll down to the very, uh, this part where there's product details, you'll find out the size of the book is usually 8.5 by 11. Because think about it. A coloring book actually has to be a big book in which uh, people can actually color with ease. So 8.5 in width, 11 inches in height is the ultimate size. So if you choose 6 by 9, not so much because 6 by 9 is more suitable for notebooks and for other types of books like that. So what we're going to do, we want to create a book which is 8.5 inches by 11 inches. Notice this is in pixels. So you have to change it and here 8.5 by 11 inches. So now that we have actually added the width 8.5, the height 11 inches, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create a new design. So what that will do is it will take us to Canva. Now, the first thing is first, I'm going to close this window. And you know why I'm going to close this window? It's because I want to, I want you to learn something. If you want to create a paperback with bleed, this means you have to add more margins. So normally here, and this is, this book that we're going to create should be with bleed. So, and I'll explain to you why with bleed later. We have to add 0 0.125 inches in width and 0 0.25 inches in height. So 8.625, that should be the, the, this, the, the other width and 11.25. And I'm going to click on create a new design. So right now, this will open up a new design. Now, why is it that we know with bleed? is because if you go with a book with bleed and if when they're printing the book, they're actually going to cut the sides of the book. And if the book is with no bleed, first of all, with books that are with no bleed, you have to make sure that your book is inside of the printing area, which we're going to draw right now. Second of all, if your book elements or any part of the, the, the color, the page exceeds the bleed area, what happens is that uh, Amazon will not actually allow you during the upload process. So which is the uh, printing area and which is the area where there is nothing printed? So here, what I would like you to do is I'd like you to go here to file and I'd like you to click on view settings and click show rulers and guides. That's the first thing that will enable these rulers here and guides. And secondly, click on elements here and I would like you to go to this line right here, select it, Go here to the uh, line weight and basically put this at maybe not 20, not 100, just I think 20 is way too much even. 20. If I zoom in, what I want you to do is zoom into the max and then just slightly start moving this aside until it is 0 0.4. 0 0.4 and then 0 0.3. The moment it hits 0 0.3, stop. Okay, now I'm going to click and I want you to duplicate this and put one here. And then I want you to duplicate this and put, you know, actually duplicate it one more time and put one here. And I want you to rotate, rotate 90 degrees, 90, 90, 90, precisely at 90 degrees. And then when you rotate it, you duplicate once more. And now we have all our duplicates. So now what I want to do, I want to zoom out, zoom out some more. There was one here, which is excess. Let me remove it. And you want to select this and grab it from here and then basically just touch the edge. Actually, Canva is quite smart, so it will just put it into place. Like this, it will just put it into place. And then you just take this and then you just drag, drag, drag. And then the here, bam, drop. And then here as well, drag, drag, drag. And then here, bam, drop. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these rulers and drag them here. Drag one here and then drag one. Scroll down to the bottom. Drag one here to touch that edge. And then drag one here. 
and then basically drag one right here. Now we have the printing area and we have the area where we're not going to print anything. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything right here and click enter to remove. And so because the book is with no bleed, is with bleed, actually with bleed, it's okay if we have anything outside of this area. So even if your coloring book is bleeding out, what happens is they're going to cut through this line. They're going to cut this area, which is not going to be included. And what happens is when they cut, they're not going to leave a line. They're not going to leave a, 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 a space. A space. And that is what we're looking for when we're creating a book with, with the bleed. We're looking not to leave a space here. Uh, or not to leave a space when they cut. Now, enough with this about bleed. I'm going to go and start uploading all of the coloring pages. So upload them all at once. Now, the first thing, now here, so these are just some elements for uh, my website. So uh, what we're going to be doing is basically I'm going to drag everything here. Everything, everything. All the DAL-E3 uh, DAL generated images. Now, these images are there, and so we can start the process. But first, before you start the process, I want you to add 26 pages. Now, here we have four pages. Once you add four pages or even more or less, start clicking on Control and Selecting, and then click Control v And then again... Actually, not that. This is not what I want. So uh, I would do it another way. So I would just click the grid view. And basically here, I would just select all of these things. And I'll just click here on uh, on basically uh, right click, duplicate four pages. And then basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these things. And again, just duplicate eight pages. Now we have 23. So I'm going to duplicate eight pages again. Now it's 24. Um we have 26 because we have 13. So with 13 ones that have no space, and I'm going to click. Now we ha add these two. And I'm going to duplicate the two pages. Now we have 26. So I can click out of the grid view. Now I have my 26 pages. We can start adding page by page. So now let me just go back. So here I'm going to go and click on the first page. Add the first image. It's in the center. Go to the third page. Add the second image. Go to the fifth page, add the third image, and then the seventh, add the fourth, and then the ninth, add the fifth, and then the eleventh, uh, add the sixth, and then the thirteenth. Uh, well, the sixth was supposed to be about the fish, so this is the one here. And uh, if I click on the fifteenth, this one here, and if I click on the seventeenth, this one here, and if I click on the nineteenth, um, this one here, and if I click on the twenty-one, um, this one here, and if I cl click on the twenty-third, this one here, and if I click on the 25th, this one here, and I, I think uh, we might have overdid it, uh, or we might have to add, right, this one, if I click, this one has the elephant, so this is it. So we might go for more, actually. Uh, let me click this one. I think I've do downloaded more than uh, 13 pages, but it's okay. Even though it's going to make a, the book a little bit bigger, but it's okay. Now we have all the pages in the right places. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on the first page. Now what you want to do, you want to select this and carefully just drag it right here. Make sure it, it is sticking to the uh, the sides. And then what you want to do, you just want to make it bigger like this. And we want to just crop like this until it touches the edges. Now it's okay if it bleeds out. So you can actually, you can actually make it bleed out. Or you can just simply, what you can do, you can set the image as background. And in my opinion, this is much better. Because if you set it up as the background, what happens is, even though if I zoom in, these areas that are outside, they're going to be cut, but it's not a big deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this as one, set the image as background, click this one as well, set the image as background, click this one as well, and then set the image as background, and then click this, this one as well, set the image as background. Okay, so I see now we have two rockets, so we're going to have to eliminate one. That's where I think I made a mistake. And then here, let's eliminate this page as well. So now we don't have, we have only, I think, 26 pages. So that's good. Set image as background 27, actually. And then here, click set image as background. This one has some dinosaurs. This is quite fun. And we're just setting the images as background and we're leaving an image empty. And set the image as background and then click here. Set the image as background and then click here and set the image as background and then just go. Click right here. Set the image as background. Click right here. Set the image as background. Click right here. So the image's background, come here, click here. And this is the last one, which is the pirate ship said the image's background. So now we have our coloring book. We can actually look at it for full screen, but now that we have it, we can just go ahead and basically download this and we can utilize it quite directly. So one page empty, one page has a coloring page, one page empty, one page has a coloring page. 
And by the way, uh, with Canva, you can actually even add instructions. So, for instance, if the on the second page you want to add an instruction on text that says something. So, for example, you want to add heading that says color the next elephant. You can actually do it if you want, but I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to leave it empty. So I'm going to click download. And by the way, the more pages, the more this means that you will consume ink, the more the cost will it will uh, actually get bigger or higher because that's what KDP does. So here, what I'm going to say is cartoon farm, uh, animals, uh, animals, paperback. Uh, here, I'm just going to eliminate this part. I'm going to say paper back coloring book. Make sure it be 8.5 by 11 inches. And then I'm going to click on the share button, click on the download button. And right here, I'm going to select instead of PNG, I'm going to actually select a PDF best for print. And because I can afford it, I'm going to go for CMYK because I have the option to use uh, uh, Canva Pro. Now, in your case, you will not be able to, but it's okay. You can download an RGD. That's also good. And I can actually click download and that's it. Now, Canva immediately, actually, in just a couple of seconds, they will download the uh, book interior first. And then we can move on to create the book cover. And then we can move on as well to basically just uh, create or put the book on Amazon. So now that we have generated the uh, book interior, remember, it should be PDF. In the next lecture, we're going to go ahead and generate the book cover. Stay tuned. And I'll see you in the next lecture.